Welcome ladies and gentlemen to section 8.4 special products part one. Now this may sound a little bit tricky, but you guys have been doing a great job these past couple days on multiplying polynomials. So if you understand how to multiply polynomials, this will be a breeze for you. So let's go ahead and get started. We all know that when we have four squared, it is four times four, which gives me 16. And also a squared is the same as a times a. So now when we have this polynomial squared, how do we represent it? It is x plus 5 times x plus 5. And now when we multiply it out, it is exactly the same of what we've been doing these past couple days. So I take it times the x, so it's x squared. Then I take it times the 5, so it's 5x. And now I have to do the same with the 5, so I take that 5 times x to get 5x, that times 5 to get plus 25, and now you simplify, correct? So we simplify to get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now this is the answer. Now we have to be very careful because it's going to come up. We don't want to let it happen, right? We can't let it happen. We can't do that with the 2, all right? That is not legal because we would come up with x squared plus 25. It does not, it does not follow the rules of math, so we cannot do that, okay? This is not legal. Remember, we set them side by side and multiply them out. So, let's try an example. Here, we're asked to find each product. With this guy, we have 3x plus 4 squared. Well, we start off by going 3x plus 4 and times 3x plus 4. Now, in this lesson, I'm not going to draw the arrows because I think we have a good understanding of where the arrows are going. So I'm just going to underline them to show you what color I am uh, multiplying together or where I'm getting the number. So I take this 3x times 3x to get 9x squared. Take this 3x times 4 to get plus 12x. Now I move on to 4. I take 4 times 3x to get another plus 12x. 4 times 4 to get plus 16. Now I simplify to get 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. Moving on to number 2. Again, the very first thing you have to do is to rewrite it to get 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1. Now again, we multiply it. I'm going to start with this first term, and I go 2x times 2x to get 4x squared, 2x times 1 to get plus 2x. Then moving to this 1, I'm going to take that 1 and take it times that 2x, so it's plus 2x. 1 times 1 is plus 1. We simplify to get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now, I want to take a second and look at our answers. Do these, do we have a pattern in these numbers from these numbers or these numbers from these numbers? Can we come up with a pattern? Well, mathematicians have done enough of these and they have come up with a pattern and it's such a pattern that they have it labeled and when they have it labeled it's a very good thing for us. It's called the square of the sum. Well, what we have now since we're adding they, they just label it now instead of using words, they just have it labeled a plus b and now these a plus b could be m plus n, q plus r, anything it's just generic general terms so it's a plus b and that whole quantity squared, right? We have it written out as a plus b and a plus b. Well now they use this formula here that would give us an answer just like this. Well here is our example that we're going to use and it's just like this guy, right? So we should, if this formula works, it should turn out like this answer. So, let's try it. Our a is going to be that guy right there. It's going to be 2x. So this a is going to be 2x. And b is going to be that whole 1. So it's just going to be 1. So I'm putting 2x in for that a. And it's going to be squared. And then it's 2 times a, and so a is 2x, b is 1, and then plus 1 squared. So now if we multiply this all out, 2x squared 
is 4x squared, correct? Because this 2 has to go to that 2 and to that x, so it's 4x squared. Plus, 2 times 2 is 4x, times 1 is still 4x, and then 1 squared is just plus 1. Now, is this the same as this? You bet it is. So therefore, if you want, if you have the same, you can use this. But say we're struggling with this right now, that is completely fine. For today, you can still go this route. You can write it out twice and then multiply it through using your arrows. Or if you just want to multiply it using um, it mentally, using just your brain, completely fine. Let's try another round. With 3, again, the first thing you want to do with this guy is to write it out. 2x minus 5y and 2x minus 5y. Now I'm going to use red here for the first time. So it's 2x times 2x to get 4x squared times a negative 5y. Now be careful here because it's negative 10xy. And now I'm going to move on to this 5x, so it's another negative 10xy, and now it's negative times a negative, so it's plus 25y, because we have two y's, y squareds, we simplify to get 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared. Moving on to number 4, let's try it again, x minus 3 times x minus 3. If you want to race me, go for it. Again, I'm going to start with this x, so it's x squared minus 3x. Then moving on to the 3, it's going to be minus 3x again, plus 9. We simplify to get x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now, can we see a pattern here? See a pattern here? Well, mathematicians again found that pattern. Now it's not the square of a sum, it's square of a difference, where the only thing that changes is, instead of a plus sign, this sign right here is a minus sign. All right, so let's go ahead and see if it works with our last example. Let this guy be A and that guy be B. So our A is all X. Our B is just 3. We're only paying attention to the number. So let's go ahead and plug our a and b into this formula here. So a is just x, and that's squared, bringing down the minus sign. So it's 2 times the a, which is x. The b is just 3. And then it's plus that b term, which is, again, 3 squared. So we multiply it out. We have x squared, and then a negative, negative, 2 times 3, which is a negative 6. Make sure we remember the x. And then uh, the square of 3, which is plus 9. So is this guy the same as that? You betcha. And also, again, if this, if you don't like this formula, if it's too much work, too much to remember, completely fine, you can go ahead and do this. All right? This will always work, guys. Uh, guys, when we multiply it out, guys and girls, this will always work. So if this is confusing by any measure, just use this, please. Just use this. It's completely fine. Let's try the last two. When we look at these last two, what do we have? We have the same exact thing, but what's changing? A plus and a minus sign. So let's see what happens. I multiply that 3n squared out. It's 9n squared, multiplying it times a negative 2 to get minus 6n squared. Now I'm going to the positive 2 to get a positive 6n squared minus 4. Simplifying terms. Well, look at here. This guy and this guy are now gone to get a 9n squared minus 4. Again, over here with number 6, starting with 4c, is 16c squared, then times the 7, which is plus 28 C, D. Now I'm moving on to the negative 7. So it's a negative 28 C, D. And then a negative 49 D. If it comes up, D squared. Now we simplify. These two are the opposite terms, so we can cancel them out. Now it's 16 C squared minus 49 D squared. 
Now, if we look at our answers, do we find any pattern from here to here, from here to here? Well, again, mathematicians did, and they called it the product of a sum and the difference because they're exactly the same, but one has a plus sign and one has a minus sign. So it's a squared just minus b squared. Now we have to figure out what is our a and what is our b. Well, now this whole thing is going to be my a term. So a is 4c and my d term or my b term rather is 7d. So let's plug them in and see if it works. So it's 4c and then I'm squaring that whole thing minus 7d and I'm squaring that whole thing so now it's 4c squared which turns into 16c squared because this 2 goes to the 4 and to the c so it's 16c squared minus again this square goes to the 7 and to the d so it's 49d squared and does this look exactly exactly like this you bet absolutely Again, if you don't like using these formulas like this, that is fine. Just multiply it out using your arrows or your brain, however you like to do it, whatever way works for you, great. Because these three things that you have seen today only work in certain cases, right? They only work in certain cases. So just make sure that we are multiplying them correctly if you do not like these formulas. But that's it. And that does it for section 8.4, special products. Part 1. Good day.